This is Cicely, the Pink Dalmatian Scrapper, and I wanted to share with you an updated room tour. I've added some a few things to my room, and so I just wanted a quick tour to show you. So I'll just start, work my way around the room. This is a shutter I picked up that I distressed and then hung on the wall. I made it so it's detachable, and I hang my cards that people send me, or a few that I haven't sent out yet. And so they're all on display and kind of a art piece in my room. Next to that, I have a big shelf, floating shelf from Ikea. This is my scrap storage. I still need to finish it just a little bit, and I'll be doing a post here pretty quick on that. And then I display, these are those um, album frames that you just pick up at Michael's. So I kind of put my favorite layouts in them and change them as time goes and that way I can watch them before or look at them before they go into an album. Um, this hasn't changed, it's just my rubber stamp storage. I don't have very many rubber stamps so I keep them up there. Again another display. The corner cabinet I purchased at an auction and we had it sandblasted and painted and it holds my all my albums and then the shelving the doors open to the side and um, I just keep different scrapbook or crafting items in there on the shelves and I think it's kind of the focal point of my room. I really really love it. I keep some crafting items down in the bottom. I picked up this piece at Walmart not for not not for very much and it holds like my close to my heart stamps and just different um, different things and this is my embellishment center I have a whole post on that that's from Michaels and then that's my close to my heart stamp pads the yellow table I purchased second hand and it holds um, it holds my, these are all my acrylic stamps, these are all my stickers, which I don't use very much anymore since I got my Cricut, and then each of these tubs are for one of my kids, so if I've bought paper or something specific for them, I can store it in there and know where it is, and this, these are some projects I've already done, um, this is kind of like my stamping station, I can do my stamping here, my hot glue gun, or my embellishment center and then or I'm sorry my embossing gun I kind of call it my embellishment center and then all the things that go along with that are right up there this is a tabletop a corner top that I snagged for my husband and I just purchased two bookcases from Walmart put them together and they hold the top up and so I've got lots of storage down here I keep my 12 by 12 pads in there. Those little plastic shoe boxes are just a dollar from Walmart, and so they're perfect for. Got my vinyl in one of them, just some different things. So all that's plenty of storage down there, and then my crickets are up here, and I can either put my laptop up there or the cord stretches from where I'm sitting, so I can easily cut out any projects I need. My handbooks are up here. I have a video or a post on how I did my handbook storage. This is my washi tape storage. It's just a Coca-Cola crate and it holds all my washi tape. So I love how that looks hanging on the wall. And then these um, shelving units were in our house when we bought it. So. Um, half of them were down here and the other half in another bedroom, so I brought them all down here. So it's perfect shelving. I can adjust it if I needed to. That's a little tool, like a little nail or screw holder from Home Depot or Lowe's that I painted and it holds lots of embellishments. Pretty much keep all my embellishments right here. Um, they're, they're organized. I kind of have an idea where most everything is and it's easy for me to turn around when I'm sitting right there and add something to my project and I hang my Cricut mats up on the wall so they're easy to use and stay out of the way um, 
this is just a cabinet it holds a lot more I'm doing a lot more 3d projects or mini scrapbooks so that kind of holds a lot of my different supplies for that type of thing this is all my ribbon scraps are in here so if the ribbon's not very long it can go in the jar and this is my ribbon storage I have a whole post about how I did my hanging ribbon organization and I'm going to do a video here right after this one about my paper storage so I'll explain how I've stored all my paper and this tub I love this tub I wasn't quite sure what to do so I've just got some different that E is an Etsy order I'm working on right now so just again some other 3d projects I have going on and that's it for my room tour oh actually let me show you my table my husband built me my table the legs are little sawhorses and they're from Ikea as well so is the chair and then he built the top and it's perfect for scrapping um, I spill anything on it, it wipes right off so it's made out of Corian it works perfect for me and then I just backed up another six foot folding table which I can use if I'm going somewhere I can take it with me or if I have a big project going on I can easily move on over to that table as well or my friends come over and they've got room to scrapbook so I hope you have enjoyed my room tour if you have any questions just leave me a comment and um, follow my blog it's pinkdalmatianscrapper.com thank you